Good morning, Craig! Have you been on YouTube lately? Why no, Tim. I have not. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little chuckle and show you what all these stupid YouTubers are talking about. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. I know. How dumb is that? They actually thought that we would put, like, the letter I on the iPhone. I mean, how stupid do they actually think we are? Oh, God. <laughs> and they thought we would call it 14 Max, but that doesn't even make sense. Their stupidity knows no bounds, unlike our Apple Silicon, which has a certain thermal envelope it has to stick with. Oh, I know, I know. I can't wait to film the event and uh, get this all done with. Oh, uh, we already filmed the event, Craig, but... Uh... I wasn't there for it. I, I know, I, I'm sorry. And, you know, you had a lot of screen time at Dub Dub, but not the iPhone event. Oh, I guess I'm just being cut out of the picture, like 3D Touch. It, it, is this genuinely gonna bother you, Craig? How sad is that? What a, what a poor man. Let's begin. All right, so I guess lucky number seven is when we find out a lot about iPhone 14 leaks because a lot of new stuff all dropping today. Sources coming from 9to5Mac and Mark Gurman. Basically, everybody's suddenly getting really, really brave with their last minute leaks. The chances are some of them are right and we're seeing marketing pictures and accessories are being manufactured at scale. So at this point, it's hard to keep a secret. Or potentially, Apple is sending out last minute leaks to weed out who are the unreliable, unsafe employees and if they tell these fake leaks to certain employees they'll figure out who is actually sharing it with the media but probably the biggest one is that all of our leaks and all of our rumored images of the iPhone 14 Pro series I guess were technically wrong or at least partly wrong because German and 9to5Mac are both agreeing that actually with the iPhone 14 Pro series Apple is going to blacken out the gap between the pill hole and the regular camera hole and it's not actually going to be two separate hole punches for Face ID and the front-facing camera and everything. Actually, 9to5Mac source is saying that they're going to put microphone and video notification lights in between these two sensors. That way, I guess you can clean up your notch's ears a little bit more. But essentially, as some people have come up with in the render department, yeah, you're just gonna have an extra long pill hole shaped camera cutout at the top of the iPhone 14 Pro, which, oh my god, I, I don't have enough time to mentally prepare for this. For months and months, I've just been hearing and seeing all the reports about the eye hole so much so that that feels like common apple vocabulary now but now you're telling me the eye hole doesn't actually exist and they're gonna artificially eliminate it honestly just looking at the extra long pill hole on the front of the iphone i personally don't really care for it all that much maybe it needs to be sitting with us for a while before we can get comfortable with it you know everyone hated the notch at first then everyone hated the smaller notch because it looked weird and then everyone hated the eye hole and even though the eye hole never even launched we got used to it and now we got to get used to something else again in the next seven days but i think logistically and functionally is the reason i'm not quite getting behind this it's not just personal preference like i like graphite and you like alpine green no it's not just personal preference it's like i thought the whole point of apple abandoning the notch and cramming more pixels to go up and above your true depth camera system was so that you were basically just maximizing screen to body ratio it wasn't really about doing anything useful with that extra screen space right it's not like like Apple was going to put any data or text above the true depth camera system. It was merely just trying to get as many pixels as possible on the front of the display. And I guess Apple's logic was by detaching the true depth camera system that somehow makes the display look newer and more modern and fresh because it's different from the notch. But now if you're trying to blacken out the gap between the two hole punch cameras, in my view, that means that you're for the sake of keeping things uniform and keeping things clean. And you don't want to have gaps between off pixels, right? You don't want to have useless data and color between the infrared blaster and the front facing camera. But in my opinion, like if you're not in favor of having gaps between black space, then there shouldn't be a pill hole at all, right? You should just stick with the notch because to me that results in the shallowest overall cutoff. Like Michael Burkhart on Twitter showcased how much more that pill hole cuts into your content compared to the notch does. Basically you have to move a lot of those sensors downward in order to cram those useless 
pixels above the true depth camera system so I could kind of get behind the concept of the eye hole because that's around all right we just need to slim down on the notch and fill all the excess space with pixels but if you're not doing the eye hole and you're intentionally going to blacken out that gap I don't understand the design philosophy it's like do you not like having gaps if you don't like to having gaps then keep the notch that would make more sense so I guess having those indicator lights there could clean up our top widgets and icons a little bit more but this absolutely is going to take some getting used to and I even will double down further on this design update which yeah I mean I'll give the iPhone 14 credit you will be able to tell that it's the new iPhone it's not going to be the same old recycled notch like last year but even more so than ever this feels like a side grade it's like it's different than last year I don't know if I'd agree with it's better or more immersive than last year but I get it I mean I guess if your goal is just to look like a newer iPhone then you just ditch the notch and replace it with something else it's just just doesn't really feel like a step in the right direction it's just different for the sake of different functionally I don't think it's really going to add anything but as we're getting closer to the launch we're also seeing a lot of unreleased products that people are taking pictures of listing the iPhone with the new form factor the 6.7 inch one as iPhone 14 plus so for the longest time we thought Apple had abandoned the plus terminology because they discontinued the 8 plus and obviously they never carried plus around after that they had used max and a lot of us were just theorizing that plus is being now reserved for services in more recent history so if you were going to do a bigger iPhone but you didn't want it to be pro you would just call it iPhone 14 max that seemed pretty simple to me but now adding another word to the vocabulary of the marketing lineup I think is going to be somewhat confusing to people if the iPhone lineup wasn't confusing enough already that if these rumors are correct then we should have an iPhone 14 iPhone 14 plus iPhone 14 pro and iPhone 14 pro max honestly I think it would simplify things a lot if we just dropped the second pro and on the biggest iPhone like if there's only gonna be one max iPhone then just call it iPhone 14 max that's a lot simpler and it rolls off the tongue but unfortunately we've already seen some documents showcasing that yeah Apple is going forward with the name iPhone 14 pro and because of this leak we can also tell that the pro iPhones are actually getting white boxes this year I don't like that you know I've always been a fan of the uh, blacker box on the more expensive models but Apple's got to save on their ink cartridges this year I guess because pro iPhones aren't really getting any special treatment other than giant pill hole on the front with indicator lights between the cameras and stuff but considering how obvious and easy it is to see the front facing camera versus the rest of the true depth camera system I still think it's gonna be weird if like you know you turn the phone off and you can clearly see there's a gap between your sensors on the display but then when you light it up those pixels don't come all the way on I don't know that just sounds off to me and a little bit bizarre you know like before the iPhone 10 launch there was all these leaks and rumors that Apple was going to embed a way in the software to deactivate the notch and keep your ears dark that way you don't really notice it cutting in on content but then once they unveiled it they were full-on embracing it you know the wallpaper was taking advantage of every single last pixel you could get on that iPhone and still to this day they never really made an easy way for you to turn off the notch they just chose darker wallpapers which they later got sued over so I have a hard time believing Apple will intentionally leave like multicolored pixels off all the time with this iPhone but I don't know it's pretty last minute and German and 9 to 5 Mac sources are usually pretty reputable so I just have to imagine that Tim is laughing every time he opens YouTube and he sees all these thumbnails everywhere we really have no idea what we're talking about but I think it's important to let you guys know what's rumored what's been leaked and I know some people may not like the leaks because they feel like it spoils the event but to me it absolutely makes it far more exciting to find out what's real what's not and it just gets me even more hyped to watch the event in one week less than seven days technically now we will be seeing how much of these rumors were baloney sandwiches and how many of these rumors were correct and that means how many people are gonna get fired let me know what you think is real and what isn't down in the comments below this is your Apple Sheep here and I'll see you all in the next one